Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. For those of you that have been with the channel some time, you'll know I'm never without my peptide fix in my skincare routine. I love peptides, and I think they can be a holy grail ingredient for so many of you guys out there. In the short term, they hydrate and plump out the skin. In the medium term, they can even out the skin tone, and in the long run, they can boost levels of collagen and elastin production for some great anti-aging benefits. Different peptides do different things for the skin, so I like to shop a serum that has multiple different peptides held within it, so you can harness the power of all the different ones. For years, my go-to was this, the Hylamide Sub-Q Skin. I love this product, but unfortunately, it's slowly been discontinued, so I've been shopping the market for some great alternatives. I've stumbled across two that I think are the best of the best. We've got the Medicaid Liquid Peptides, and we've got the Skin 1004 Pore Minimizing Ampule. I want to put these to the test side by side alongside that Sub-Q Skin to work out which is the world's best peptide and the one that you need for your skincare routine. Sit back, relax, let's talk the best peptide serum. Now, before we get into this video, just that quick reminder to do all that YouTube stuff if you haven't already. If you could reach down and give this video a big thumbs up and a like. This is the best way of supporting me as a content creator because the more likes the video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so, so much. I know sometimes it can be difficult to spell some of the names of the products that I mentioned, or you might not catch the name itself. So don't worry, I've linked all the products mentioned in the description box below. Those links are there for your convenience if you want to check out the price point, the ingredients, the stock availability, wherever in the world you are, just down there in the description box below. Now, with all that waffle out of the way, shall we just cut it and delve straight on in? So let's start with what are peptides, what do they do? Well, they're long chain amino acids and they're all created very differently. Different peptides have different benefits and different purposes. Some will hydrate, some can even out the skin tone, others will boost levels of collagen and elastin production. Peptides do come in many different forms, which is like I said earlier in the video, I like to choose a serum that has multiple different ones all held within it. Peptides are much more flexible than people give them credit for. I hear horror stories of people say you can't use your peptide alongside your vitamin C against the exfoliating I said all rubbish, you absolutely can. And I shared with you in a recent video like the do's and don'ts with peptides, which I'll leave a link to up there. So when you've decided which is your favorite peptide to incorporate in your routine, check that video out so you can make sure you're doing it correctly, getting maximum benefit. I've seen some great results from peptides in my own skincare routine. I definitely noticed that instant hydration and plumping. And in the long term, I definitely think it pays dividends in terms of improving collagen and elastin production. Some studies have started to show that certain peptides can even out the skin tone, reduce excess pigment production. These studies are very much in their infancy, and whilst I haven't personally seen those results from peptides, I can definitely vouch for the plumping and the anti-aging benefit that you're going to see, which is why I use them morning and evening in my own skincare routine. You're really going to want to choose a product that meets your budget. You know, you don't overpay for your peptide serum. There are some great ones available at an affordable price point. But you're also going to want to compare and contrast that price to the quality of the formulation that you're getting. Usually it's the case of the more peptides held within a product, the higher price point it commands. And you really need to find the right balance that fits your budget and your skin's needs. So let's start with what we call our control, what my former holy grail was, which is this, the Hylamide Sub-Q Skin. This serum has so many positives going for it. Beautifully affordable. The original price point was £18. It's now half price. You can still get this product in some countries. So I've left a link in the description box below. If you click on that link, go to the bottom of that web page. There's a little country selector. Choose the country wherever you're shopping from and it'll tell you if this is in stock. If it is, it'll be 50% off. Definitely worth a purchase because it's just such a beautiful product. It's lightweight on the skin. It doesn't feel tacky. It sinks in like that. You get some great anti-aging benefit from it, which I love, because it combines multiple different peptides alongside a little hyaluronic acid to plump out the skin and lock in all that hydration, and some great fermented ingredients. The ferments in here don't get enough love. Actually, they're doing an awful lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to plumping out the skin, boosting the levels of hydration, giving those immediate anti-aging effects and benefits, which is one of the main reasons I love this product. It's that powerful combination of calming and soothing ingredients with peptides, with ferments, that makes this a ding, 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 holy grail. I'm giving this 10 out of 10, but I've got two other products that come very close to it, and I want to share with you what my thoughts and feelings are so we can work out the right one for your skincare routine when this one finally disappears. So up first is a product I have recommended on the channel before. It's the Medicaid Liquid Peptides. Now this is a beautiful blend of different peptides. Actually in here you have many more different peptides than what you have in the Sub-Q skin. So when it comes to peptide count, this definitely streets ahead of a lot of the competitors. I also love the fact you've got some hyaluronic acid in here which is going to plump out the skin and some calming and soothing ingredients too. 
This doesn't have the fermented ingredients, which the Sub-Q skin does, which is a little bit of a shame and why I don't think this is quite as hydrating on impact as that Hyalamide Sub-Q skin is. But in the long term, you've got a beautiful blend of peptides, some of which are going to boost collagen and elastin production, such as the copper peptide derivatives in here, and others are going to add a meaningful level of hydration to the skin. This has a beautiful lightweight finish and texture, so again, it's not sticky and tacky. One of the main reasons I started gravitating towards the Hyalamide Sub-Q skin is it was one of the few peptide serums that wasn't sticky on application. This one isn't too, which is definitely a big tick in the box for me. The big drawback is the price point. £50 for 30 mil. So we're looking at a roughly five times the price of the Hylamide Sub-Q skin. That doesn't make it a like for like dupe in my book. However, if you don't mind paying a little bit more to get your hands on a more advanced formulation, then Medicaid definitely deliver with this. You're getting more peptides for your money and they claim that this has a 30% concentration in here. I'm gonna take that with a little bit of a pinch of salt because that's actually a 30% peptide complex and there are other non-peptide ingredients within that complex. So that 30%, like I say, should be taken with a grain of salt. That's not the total percentage of peptide concentration in here, but it's definitely got a sky high number of peptides in here and probably Probably one of the market leaders in my opinion. I've been using this ever since the Hylomide Sub-Q skin was discontinued in my country and getting great results from it. Until recently, when I actually discovered another product. Before I come on to this, I'm going to give this marks out of 10. So for me, this is getting an 8 out of 10. It's missing the ferments, which means I don't think it's as hydrating as the Hylomide Sub-Q skin and it's much more expensive. So it's losing a point for both of those factors, but overall, 8 out of 10 is still an amazing, amazing product. Now, I mentioned that the Medicaid liquid peptides was my go-to since Hyalamide discontinued their Sub-Q skin until recently, when I discovered this product, the Skin 1004 Pore Minimizing Fresh Ampule. Now, I didn't really clock that this was a peptide serum at first. I got given my first bottle of this in like a K skincare goodie bag, tried it, thought it feels great on the skin, but when I read pore minimizing, I thought probably salicylic acid, little centella alongside that, things to decongest the skin. Actually, no, this is packed full of nine different peptides. So in here, you've got more peptides and more different peptides than in that Hylomide Sub-Q skin and in the Medicaid liquid peptides. So this streets ahead in terms of the different peptides you're actually getting. Then when you investigate the blend of peptides, game-changingly good. So you've got some copper peptides in here, which are going to work wonders at boosting the collagen and elastin production in the skin. See it as almost like, the way this kind of works is as collagen breaks apart in the skin, it turns itself into various different amino acids. When these copper copper peptides break apart, they break into the same amino acids as collagen breaks into. And so when the presence of these broken down amino acids are there in the skin, it tricks the skin thinking, oh, that's collagen that's broken apart, better create a little bit more. That's a very oversimplified version of that, but I think it helps us understand exactly how this works. Also delivers the ingredients needed for that collagen production. So when the body's decided, yep, we need to produce a little more collagen, searches around for the ingredients, and it's already there, present in the skin, thanks to this serum. So you can really see how it's working on multiple levels. You've got some great hydrating peptides in here that are going to plump out the skin, and ones that are just there to really boost overall skin health. You've got a 50% concentration of Centella Asiatica, one of my absolute favourite calming, soothing and hydrating ingredients, alongside some aloe too. So this isn't one of those products that's just packed with full of filler ingredients, it's all like high quality and you get 100 mil of product and I paid 18 pounds for this. I got my first one in a K skincare giveaway box thing and I bought like three since I think um, at 18 pounds. Super affordable, really, really great formulation that I think is just streets ahead of anything else on the market. So in here, you've got that beautiful blend of calming, soothing and hydrating ingredients. You've got that powerful peptide packed formulation with multiple different peptides delivering different benefits. And so you get everything I got from that Hylomide Sub-Q skin and more. You get the plumping, you get the smoothing out effect, definitely locks in all of that hydration. And in the long term, you're getting that collagen and elastin boost to the skin, some great anti-aging benefit too. The Centella also pairs really well with vitamin C. So most of us will have an ascorbic or L-ascorbic acid vitamin C serum in our skincare routine. But if you use Centella alongside vitamin C, studies have shown it actually quadruples the amount of additional collagen produced 
versus using vitamin C in isolation. So if you've already got a vitamin C doing some heavy lifting in your skincare routine, using this will not only give you that peptide fix, but also that secret, that centella fix to further double down on that collagen production. It's, it's just a magical, magical product. And the best thing about it, lightweight, non-tacky on application. So this again makes it super special and very much in line with the sub-Q skin in terms of how it applies. It's probably slightly more liquidy, which means it just blends and absorbs that little bit better. And you can put multiple layers of this on. If you've got very dryness prone skin, maybe put a layer of this on, wait 20 seconds, put another on, and it'll just give you the juiciest, plumpest skin you've ever had. This is a game changer, and whilst it looks like, I don't know if that sort of rosy hue is coming off, that's actually the um, packaging itself. The product inside is clear. There's no colorants, there's no fragrance, none of that filler garbage that you normally see in serums, just a wonderful formulation. So I think if I was gonna conclude, we're looking at these three. Whilst I love for the price point, particularly now it's half price at nine pounds, the Hyalamide Sub-Q Skin is like 10 out of 10. We gave this Medicaid Liquid Peptides eight out of 10. Great alternative, definitely a little bit more peptide action if you ask me, but you're paying a lot more in terms of price point and it lacks the fermented ingredients. Best all-rounder, though, has to go to the Skin 1004 Pore Minimizing Ampule. The highest number of different peptides of anyone that I've seen on the market. Great concentration of those and a really nice blend of different peptides to give you maximum benefits. Combine that with the Centella, with the Aloe for the plumping and the calming. This is just great. Can I give it an 11 out of 10? I'm going to. This is a ding, 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 holy grail. And I want to declare the Skin 1004 Pore Minimizing Ampule as the world's best peptide serum. And it doesn't even call itself a peptide serum baffling. So definitely worth trying out if you're still looking for an alternative to sub-Q skin, but if the sub-Q is still in stock, get it while it's half price because honestly your skin will love it. Hopefully this video is just a little fun where we can compare and contrast some products on the market to work out what's the best for your individual skin's needs and your skincare routine. Let me know what your thoughts are on the products mentioned in the comment section below, wherever you are in the world guys. Stay safe, stay well, I love your skin. Take care, bye!